Impress yourself and all your aunties with these classic soft rotis that puff up like a charm every time. Let's make them. All right, so today we are going back to the basics with classic rotis. I feel like there is so much pressure when it comes to making perfect rotis from your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad. And trust me when I say, by the end of this video, you, my friend, are going to be a roti making master. Trust me, the process is so simple and it yields perfect results every single time. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is start by making our dough. So I'm gonna add a little bit of all-purpose flour to my bowl and season it with some kosher salt. Then I'm gonna pour in some canola oil. I'm gonna mix this mixture together until it's sandy in texture. Next, I'm gonna stream in a little bit of hot water. It's really important to use hot water for this because it makes the dough nice and tender. And we're gonna mix the dough until it forms a shaggy ball and then knead it until a supple, soft dough of ball forms. And then we're gonna let our ball of dough rest for 30 minutes. That allows all the glutens to relax so that it becomes nice and stretchy and easy to roll out. Our dough has rested, and something important to note is that it's not going to increase in volume because there's no yeast in it. Also, there's no baking powder or baking soda, making it an unleavened bread. So now that it's nice and relaxed, I'm gonna pinch off pieces of dough and get it ready to roll out. I'm armed with a conventional rolling pin, which is going to do the trick. However, if you ever encounter one of those thin roti rolling pins, pick it up. It is so great at stretching out the dough and getting it nice and even. So I'm going to scatter a little bit of bench flour onto my surface, add my piece of dough, and start gently rolling it out into an eight inch circle, flipping it once or twice so that it gets nice and even and round. Also, I should mention, if your rotis are not perfectly round, it is not the end of the world. Just keep practicing, you'll eventually get there, but in the meantime, savor those rotis, enjoy them, okay? So now we're gonna hit the stove and cook our rotis up. At this point, if it hasn't fully puffed up like a balloon, I'll place it directly on the flame and allow that extra heat to puff it up. Off the heat, I'm gonna brush it with tons of melted butter. And just like that, our classic soft rotis are ready. My roti is fresh off the frying pan, all buttered up and glistening. Let's tear into one. Oh my gosh, look at that. All those layers puffed up in the middle, all that butter. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. There is something to be said about a classic roti with tons of butter, so good. This roti is super tender with a bit of a chewy bite and I love that we threw it on the open flame. It gave it a little bit of a char, a little more character and this is so good paired with all your curries, your subjis, eat it on its own. And sometimes, you know what I do? I have it for breakfast with a little bit of jam smeared over the top, so, so good easy classic rotis that you can make at home too.